Hi Gravitrax fans, we got great news for you today. The Gravitrax app has been updated with the new Vertical Pro pieces. In order to access them, you have to pay. The upgrade cost on the iPhone app is 99 cents, very reasonable. On the Android app, it's $2.49. These are US dollar prices. I'm not sure why the um, costs are different between Android and iPhone. I'm using, of course, my iPhone. Um, I, I use the iPhone app there, but I, I like to use it on my Chromebook, so that's why I have the Android app also. The cost is real reasonable, though, because you get access to build um, with all of the vertical pro pieces and we're going to take a look at those right now going through the tutorial. So the first thing you want to build with when you're building with pro are the columns also called pillars but um, you just drag those in place you can put on top of uh, your column a double balcony just like in the with the real thing and then you can put a second column on top of that. In order to put up a wall you'll need to put a second column up and then you can drag a wall in between the two columns. Just like that and then you um, you can hang your single balconies off of the walls. Very nice, just like in the real thing. Um, then the tutorial, of course, is going to take us through setting up just a little quick run so we can see that it works. So the other pieces that are included, you can see here, are the three Bernoulli tracks, the short ones, the straight left and right curves. So we're going to drag one of those in place, and we have ourselves a little functional layout here. The other parts of this that are in the Vertical Pro, if you hit the Pro button, uh, the other components you see are the mixer and the splitter. The mixer is nice because just like in real life you can swap the top uh, 60 degrees so that either the inputs and the outputs are lined up over each other or you can have them so that they're offset from each other just like that. So pretty cool. Um, the splitter has no such options, so it's just the inputs and the outputs. You can, of course, rotate those to however you want. And you'll notice that the, that the tracks, um, it's now prompting that you can either do a straight track or you can do the, you know, the Bernoulli drop tracks. You find those Bernoulli drop tracks under the tracks section, so we could drop down like that if we wanted to. That wouldn't make any sense because we're taking the output of one uphill that wouldn't really work but um, that, that's how the app is working now. You'll notice here on the left hand side they have grouped or changed how the groupings look so instead of having three dots on the side you actually have tabs which I think are much easier to, to, to swap between and you can hide this tab like that so that you only show the current tab so and then you can show it and then go to go to your pro parts uh, go to your regular parts. Now I was curious with the upgrade to the app if they would update a couple of things. There's a couple limitations and they have not. Uh, one is with the spirals. We were hoping that we would be able to make spirals of any height but no we still have the three preset heights which do not at all reflect what we actually build in the app. So, um, you know, Ravensburger, we love the Vertical Pro updates, but we really need the spiral to be where we can uh, make it go up and down in height by uh, not, not just putting tiles underneath it, but we need to be able to adjust the height of the spiral itself. 
in half tile increments, which is the um, you know the one third of a turn. And the other thing that we were hoping would get updated was was on under the height tiles. So those are located where maybe I'm missing them. Oh well the height tiles are kind of built into each piece but what we were really missing and hoping for was that the angled tiles that come with the trampolines could be used um, anywhere we choose because in our layouts we use these all over the place to tilt things and it looks like still the only options to use these green tilt tiles are the one and two stack tilt tiles so we can't even do a three stack or do offset stacks where we you know rotate one tile versus another but I tell you what I use these all over the place to put underneath um, uh, various tiles just to get things right it's like for example sometimes with these jumpers if they're surrounded in front of them with three other tiles the jumper will rub against them and it, it, it uh, that friction will pre prevent the jumper from going all the way up and so what I will do is with the three um, you know the three tiles in front of them I'll, I'll put a uh, green angled tile and then I'll put a regular tile on top of that and that gives just enough clearance pushes the you know the tiles in front of it out of the way just enough so that um, so that it clears so you know uh, in real in real life there, there there's still some limitations here with with um, with the app but it's it's definitely making uh, getting better and uh, making some improvements so here we can put um, a, a left turn Bernoulli track in there so that's pretty cool so yeah there's a lot more options here now the other thing I wanted to try out is sometimes when I'm doing a layout like this and I want the tops of my pillars to all be the same height is I might have that double balcony uh, in one but on the other I will put a half height tile and it doesn't you know it does it look like there's an option to do that here it doesn't look like I can can I actually oh yes I can so I can put that half height tile looks like in between so great job Ravensburger on that that way you know because because in, in in your real life layouts when you put these put these walls up you may you may want to put it um, additional towers on top and you want them to be lined up so this is great that you can select components that are connected to walls cannot be moved that's interesting um, so that means you probably can't take this whole assembly and move the whole thing up as a unit yeah, it's locked. So that's an interesting um, update. So be sure uh, to place your pillars where you want them, and then once once you have them in place, you know, put your walls up afterwards. Because once your walls are up, that locks things in place. So what if we were to put this up by to seven, and then uh, you know put a couple another pillars up on top, and then try to put a wall across those it's saying it's not showing that I can put a wall oh well they're not even lined up so who huh, let's try to move it so that they're lined up there we go okay and now oh yeah so we can move this around and then you can see all the options for actually adding that wall on that that raised wall which is floating so now the other thing you can do kind of in real life is actually hang a wall off of a pillar especially if it's like a one width and it's not and not have it connected on the other side but this app's not going to let you do that so I had a couple uh, layouts where I did that and I, I used some creative methods to keep them from pulling out with the weight on them but um, obviously that that's kind of a special case so here in the app now here's another question can we put a wall in between these guys so 
it's looking like it's not going to allow us to, even though those guys are lined up, it's not prompting me to do so. But again, I don't have I don't have that half um, height wall there. So let's let's try rebuilding this and see if we can get that to work. Yes, we're going to delete the wall and it will delete the components on that wall. Okay. So we're going to put this pillar in. We're going to raise him up half a step so that he lines up. And we're going to add this here. And again, we're going to raise him up a half a step. So now all of them are lining up. And what we should be able to do theoretically is place walls all three ways around. Let's see if we can do that. And yes, it's allowing us to do so. So again, Ravensburger, great job. Um, this is obviously technically complex to pull off and you guys did a really good job with these Vertical Pro um, expansions. So yeah, there's, there's that, not only the flexibility there, but also the, uh, the rules which kind of um, prevent some crazy things from happening. So as long as you have your columns at the same height, um, then you can put walls across them. So that's nice to know. We could put one here. And I don't know if it'll allow, no, it's not going to allow you to have one sticking up in the air, but okay, now, now we can put one there. So yeah, very cool. So we can build up. Um, let's, let's try one more thing. Let's say we have a single balcony on here. Oh, and it's showing all the different heights that we can put this thing at. And say we want to make that, move that up a notch, you know. So we've got it on the up and down and sure enough you can update it and it will jump up just to the available slots. So it makes it pretty easy to uh, to do it now, can it go down to the next wall below it? No, so it's going to stay on the wall that you put it on. But you can put one on any wall, move it up and down. Now, this is a new thing, and that make lets you go from uh, move move it uh, horizontally. So that's kind of cool. So you can choose to move it horizontally or vertically within that one wall. Very nice. Let's check out one more thing, which is how can we adjust the double balconies? So let's put a double balcony up on this wall here. All right, and we've got the rotate. So we can rotate that in any position we want around there. Here's a, here's a question though. Um, can we put one double balcony on another double balcony? No, it's only going to allow us to put them on top of a pillar. Um, I have sometimes used, you know, three double balconies on top of each other, each pointing in a slightly different direction to get a marble all the way around a column from one side to the other. Um, can't do that here, so you're just going to have to hang things off of walls and uh, kind of stick more with the standard layout if you want to uh, put it in the app. So just just be aware of that. Just don't don't try to do the crazy stuff you you might do in real life here in the app. It's not going to work. Um, so let's see as far as what you can do with these. Let's add, let's add a couple tiles here. See what we can do with the tunnels. So we're going to go over here. Nope, here. Let's add a couple tiles. Base plates and going back to the vertical pro pieces. Let's add a couple of these guys and uh, 
let's see if we can't make first of all a track go through these you know that's the big question on everyone's mind is you know to do the trick pieces you trick stunts and everything you want to be able to put uh, you obviously want to be able to put track pieces in between okay oh and it's actually prompting that you can put your um, I call it a hill track the one that goes up can actually go there now the others won't fit yet but if we raise this up boom 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 oh then all of a sudden yeah then we have the ability to put the flat track there so kinda nice um, I haven't played around with what what are the limitations of this um, you know will the, will the marble get stuck that'll be an interesting thing to, to figure out but anyways have fun playing around with this actually it looks like the marble might might hit right there let's try it let's get ourselves a launch piece oh we can only do one per yeah that that's another bummer is it only allows one launch piece per track okay now we can do it um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. let's put them there let's raise them up give them a straight piece of track oh and it's saying I can con yeah let's connect them <laughs> alright let's play it let's see what happens yep and true to life that marble was just a little bit didn't have enough clearance there so lowering this down then it goes through great well looks like you guys are going to have a lot of fun and uh, enjoy this new update to the Gravitrax app I would like to see you guys submit some tracks with vertical pro components in the Gravitrax fans Facebook page just put your app code there do it hashtag Gravic code, G R A V I C O D E. And uh, if it's a good layout, we'll add it to our Gravis Sheet repository so that other people can build it. Okay? You guys have a good day and enjoy this. All right.